Hey guys, Pogosic29 here, and welcome to video number two. Today we're going to be making a heal and feed command. So let's go ahead and close out of our code from last time. Now you're going to want to click up here and make a new Java project. I'm going to call this Medic. I guess you can call it whatever you want. Again, click Next, Libraries, Add External Jars, and Locate Your Craft Bucket that you downloaded. Then click Finish. So now we're all set up. We just need to right click on SRC and make our package again. Okay, now we need to make a new our class. Okay. So first of course we need extends Java plugin. And from now on, I'm just going to be using this shortcut, organize imports, to import things. If you see a red line, just use that or hover over it and click import to do it manually. Now let's just go ahead and type our public void on enable and our public void on disable and again our public boolean on command command sender sender command cmd string command label and string array of arguments. Uh, if you if you don't have that memorized, it does take some time, so uh, you can copy that for now. All right. Um, I guess we can quickly go ahead and do our um, logging in the beginning. Info medic enabled. Okay, so now we can get started with our commands. There's going to be two commands. It's going to be heal and feed. And the way that it's going to work is you, if you do slash heal, it will heal your health. If you do slash feed, it will it'll uh, fill your hunger. You can also do heal and then have a player or same with feed. So basically you can change your own health or other players' health. So let's just start with heal. Sorry about that. If cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case heal. Now, this is where we're going to take a look at this string array called arguments. So basically, the arguments, as I said before, are anything after the command. So that's argument 0, 1, 2, etc. So, what, here's what we want to do. First, we, we want to check if there are if the r if the length of the arguments is zero. If there are no arguments, then we simply want it to heal the player. You know what? I forgot. We first need to check if this is the console or not. So let's go ahead and type that code again. Sender instance of player. And you're going to want to import player, and then we're going to do sender dot send message chat color dot red plus the console cannot use medic. Okay, and then of course we need it to return true, and don't forget the if. And then we are going to do our casting. Now that we know that this is definitely a player, then we can do this casting. So now, to heal them is simple. We just do player dot set health 20. The reason why it's 20 and not 10 is because each heart can either be full or half full. So there's 20 possible options. So that will set their health to full health. Then we can just say player dot send message and let's just make this one green and say you have been healed. Okay. And then we're gonna want to go ahead and return because we don't want anything to happen from there. So now we're going to check 
if the all right so now we're gonna say what if they specify a player so we know that they've specified a player since we already checked if they didn't so what we do is player target equals bucket dot get server dot get player args zero so now what this is doing is it's making a new player called target and it's equal to bucket will search the server and find the player that is that is named whatever you specified for your first argument because remember all uh, Java arguments start on zero so that's what that will do so now what if they type in a name that doesn't exist well we have to do this if target equals equals null which means that if this target doesn't exist then we need to do player dot send message could not find player and you know what we can put that in red and then again we need to return true okay so now we know that we definitely have a player that we need so target dot set health 20 so now we've healed them now we can do target dot send message and we'll just put this in green excuse me you have been healed and then we'll send the player a message they have been healed and now if you want to put the player's name in then what you can do is you would take this off and you can say player you can say target dot get name and that will return the name of the target so we'll now say whatever their name is has been healed so you can do that wherever you want it to be so there is our heal command now what we can actually do is just copy that and paste it and just change a few things so first feed then we want to player dot set food level and again this is 20 I believe now you have been fed and then we just need to say you have been fed they have been fed and we need to of course do set food level to 20 and now just to clear this up once again add return statement it can either be true or false it doesn't make a difference so that should be good for our heal and feed commands. Now it's time to set up our plugin.yml. So right click on source and new file, plugin.yml, and ignore that if it opens. Drag that in here and name medic version 1.0 main me.pogosic29.medic.medic. Uh, whatever yours is, that's what you would put. Author, Pogo629, or you would put your name. Now you can also have a description, which is heal and feed. That just describes what your plugin does. Now, we are going to have our commands. And you cannot use tabs in YML and uh, YAML formatting. So, now we have our commands, heal and that is going to be usage is slash command and description is heal and you can also have aliases and you would do it like this um, health or um, give health whatever and anything in there would also do the exact same thing so now again we have feed usage slash command aliases um, slash food or um, seat or whatever Des description 
feed. All right. So now that that's all done, go ahead, right click, export, jar file, and make sure that you change the name to medic, and that should export it to the right place. Let's take a look. All right, so we have our test plugin, and we also have our medic plugin. So let's cross our fingers and see if the server starts up. Looks like we are good. Now let's see if our medic uh, message broadcasted. Yep, there it is, medic enabled, so that definitely worked. Now we're going to go ahead and fire up Minecraft so we can test. First, let's try heal and feed. There you go. The console cannot use it, so there's no problems there. Now let's go ahead and log into our server. And now we're in. Let's try it out. So, one second. All right. So now let's get hurt a little bit. All right. Now, let's see if this will kill me or not. All right, good. So now if we do slash heal, there you go. It says that I have been healed and my health is now full. Now let's just do that again and try it with specifying a name. So, game mode zero and heal pogo sick 29. And there you go. It says you have been healed because I healed myself and it says Pokestick 29 has been healed because I healed myself. Now also, let's say if we do heal and a random name, it says could not find player. So there's no problems there. Now as far as feeding, we need to test that as well. So hang on, let me get my food level down. Okay, so I wrote a command into the plugin that will set your food health down. Now, you wouldn't ever want this, I just needed it so that I could debug the plugin. So I'm just going to take that out, but if any of you are really interested, I can send you the code. Basically, all it does is when the command is sent, it just sets their food level to 1, which is mostly down. So nothing interesting. Let's go ahead and test out that feed. So when I do slash feed, it says I've been fed and my food is up. Now let's do that again, and feed... Pogosick29, that also works, and I've been fed. And once again, if you do feed and a random name, it says could not find player. So there you go, guys. That is your tutorial on a heal and feed plugin. Next time, we are going to work on making a text-based pranking plugin like the Prankster plugin that I have released on Bucket Dev. I'll provide a link to that in the description, and we'll be making a few commands from that. So thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you next time.